everyone, I just finished my workout for today. Before we get into it, let me just quickly walk you through the exercises. There are only three exercises, and the only piece of equipment I was using today was my sandbag. My sandbag weighs about 25 pounds. You may need something lighter or heavier. That depends on your strength and on your level of fitness, what you have available to you, and how hard you want to push yourself today. If you don't have a sandbag, um, let me say first of all that if you plan on following my workouts regularly, I highly recommend investing in a sandbag. It's a great piece of workout equipment and I do use it frequently, so you'll get good use out of it. Um, if you wanna do this workout with me today, right now, and you don't wanna have to go out and buy a sandbag first, um, you can probably try to make a homemade sandbag. If you have like a duffel bag or a backpack or something like that that you can fill with some weight, that could totally work. Um, if not, if you have a dumbbell, a heavy dumbbell or a kettlebell, uh, that could work as well, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, first, let me just show you the first exercise I was doing with my sandbag. It's just good mornings, which we've done before. Um, just wait for the plane so you can hear me. Let me first just show you what the exercise is with no added weight, because that's another option. If you don't want to add weight to the exercise, or you just don't have anything that you can use, just do the exercise using only your own body weight. When I do this exercise without any weight, I usually clasp my hands behind my neck like this. I just find this the most a comfortable place to put my hands, but you can put your hands wherever you want. So I have my feet about shoulder width apart, soft knees. So don't lock your knees, keep them a little soft, maybe a little bit of a bend. And now from here, we're gonna hinge at the hips. So I have my chest lifted nice and high, roll the shoulders back, make sure your chest is lifted high. Nice, strong, tight core and with a straight back and the weight in your heels, you're gonna push that booty back. As so you're trying to hit the wall behind you with your booty. And you're just gonna hinge at the hips and with your straight back, just bend right over like this. Remember to keep those knees soft. And then reverse the movement, stand back up, that's it. That's a good morning, okay? So, just like that. I was adding weight to this exercise by holding my sandbag in front of me. So, I'm gonna clean the sandbag. And now I'm going to just, I find it more comfortable to switch my grip like this. And I'm just hugging the sandbag to my chest. And from here, I'm gonna do the same thing, pushing that booty back, weight in the heels. Chest is lifted high, strong, tight core, straight back, hinging at the hips, and then reverse the movement, press into the heels, and stand back up with a straight back. If you don't have a sandbag or something similar that you can use, any type of weight will work. A dumbbell, a kettlebell, a household item, like a water bottle or something like that. Um, you can just hold that in front of your chest and do the good mornings like this. Okay, so any type of weight will work or you can do them with no added weight. Next exercise is around the world. So again, soft knees. I'm using my sandbag for this as well. Starting by holding the sandbag in front of me and I'm going to kind of swing the sandbag up and around the back of my head, around the world and return to the starting position. So it's gonna look like this, up and around. And that's one rep. Now for the next rep, I'm going to go the other way around the world. So now I'm going and swinging the bag this way, up and around, that's two. So it looks like this with the sandbag. Um, however, if you don't have a sandbag, you can also use your kettlebell or your dumbbell for this exercise. So again, I would just hold my dumbbell in front of me like this, soft knees, and then I would just swing the dumbbell up and around. This is a 10 pound dumbbell. So obviously this is like less than half the weight of my sandbag. So the exercise is less challenging with the lighter weight. So if you want to add reps, if you're using um, a light weight, that's fine. I was doing 20 reps per round. If you're using a light weight, you can do 30 or 40 reps per round, um, whatever works for you. And the last exercise is just a short little body weight combo, no equipment required for that one. And I will walk you through it when we get to it. And as always, if anything is unclear, if you have questions, 
If you need help with modifications or substitutions, please just ask. I'm always more than happy to help in any way I can. And now, if you would like to do this workout with me today, go ahead and get your equipment ready, your sandbag or something similar, maybe a dumbbell or a kettlebell or household item, whatever you're using for weight. Make sure you are good and warmed up and when you're ready, let's go. Last exercise is a little combo. So we're gonna come down to a squat. So keep the weight in the heels, push the booty back, chest is lifted high. Back stays straight, nice strong tight core. Sit so down into your squat. And then from here, you're gonna put your hands down on the floor or the ground in front of you. Walk them out so that you're in a plank position. Do a push up, walk the hands back in, come back down into your squat and jump up. That's one rep. When I wrote this workout, I was going to do 20 reps of these per round um, because I did 20 reps of good mornings and 20 reps of around the world. But the workouts that have been so long and so tough I'm not trying to kill myself today, so I'm just doing 10 reps of these per round, because we're doing five rounds, so it's gonna be plenty. We're just gonna be under doing like 20 jump squats and 20 push-ups. If you're super strong, or you just feel like pushing yourself today, or you want a long workout today, you could do 20 reps of these per round, okay? I'm doing 10, that's gonna be more than enough for me today. Okay, 
so here we go. Squat down, walk it out, push up, walk it back in, squat and jump up. That's one, we're going to 10. has been one week exactly I think since my last blood donation I always feel very tired and a little weak for a day or so after a blood donation and it always takes me several days before I feel ready to do upper body work, especially push-ups. So this is actually the first day I've done, I've incorporated push-ups into a workout in over a week, I think. So 50 is funny for me today. All right, so that's round one. That's the whole workout, we're just doing five rounds. So starting again with our good mornings, using whatever weight you want for these or no weight at all, it's fine. around the world with a sandbag. And again, if you don't have a sandbag or something similar that you can use, you can use a different kind of weight, like a kettlebell or a dumbbell would be perfect. If you don't have that, a household item could work. So get creative, use what you got. We're doing 20 reps, alternating sides. So around the world this way, that's one rep. And now 
reversing. Oh, wait, that's two. We're going to 20. to our final exercise. I don't know what I'm calling this yet. It's like our little squat, inchworm burpee combo thingy. I'm really thanking 30 minutes ago me for deciding to do half the amount of reps of that final exercise because I'm already dying. And uh, 10 per round of those is more than enough for me. All right. That was round two. We have three more rounds to go. So let's go ahead and get into it with another 20 good mornings.
five left, but I'm feeling so fatigued today that I need to put my sand back down for a few seconds while I rest. Okay. Just five more. to mention that my goal today was to finish this workout in under 30 minutes. <sighs> like, it's still possible. Just took a peek at my time. It's possible. I'm going to keep pushing and try to see if I can finish in under 30 minutes. Okay, around the world. Uh, uh, 20 reps, alternating sides. <sighs> Here we go. Ten more reps. Now we're on to round four. Okay. Here we go. I think that was five. Just five more. I'll probably end up doing six more because now that the now that it's out there, I'm not gonna be able to shake the thought that maybe I skipped a rep, so let's see. What might be one extra, but I'd rather do one extra than not enough, so. Let's do five more and then I'll just do one extra, just to be safe. So I'm pretty sure that's ten. 
but just to scratch that itch on my brain so that I don't have this nagging thought that I only did nine reps. I'm gonna do one more for safety. All right, that's round three. Here's the thing is that I really could be doing 20 reps of that little combo per round. I could do it. Um, I would have to just pace myself, probably do like little mini sets of five. Um, it's definitely doable. It's just, it would take me a solid like 50% longer at least. Instead of 30 minutes, it would take me 45 minutes to an hour. And um, like I said, all the workouts have just been so tough and so long lately. Not that this one's not tough, but just wanted something a little shorter today. So it's still, I'm still gonna get a solid 30 minutes. It's still a great workout. So I am at peace with my choices. All right, just two rounds left. Let's get started with our good mornings, 20 reps. Fifteen. It has to be five more, but I just want to um, again put the sand back down for a few seconds while I rest. <sighs> These are for me anyway, much, much more taxing with the added weight. So <sighs> I just need a few seconds to rest, regain some strength. Only have five reps left, so <sighs> let's get this done. <sighs> reps. As I get fatigued with this exercise when I'm using my sandbag, it's hard to get it up and over and I always end up whacking my ponytail with my with the handle or something. So I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna try to make sure I have enough strength to really get the bag up and over. 20 reps, here we go.
now, mercifully, only 10 reps for our final exercise. All right, I gotta hustle. All right, here we go. That's fun. not going to finish in under 30 minutes. I'm going to keep pushing and try to get as close to it as I can. Four more reps of these and then we'll get right on to round five. Seven. Eight. round four. Just one round left. I am at 27 minutes and 20 seconds. So I'm not gonna finish another 30 but I won't miss it by too much. Here we go. Gotta push. I want to keep going because I want to get as close to meeting my tempo as I can, but I'm just getting too fatigued and I need a rest. All right, 10 more. I feel like those last five reps weren't the prettiest. I could have rested for a few more seconds, but it's okay. I, there wasn't any major mishaps with the forearm. I don't think I'm, you know, I was in any danger of injuring myself. They just maybe weren't the prettiest. Okay, around the world, around the world. Twenty groups. Rest 
sing for just a few seconds because again, those last few reps were starting to get sloppy. I was starting to rely a little too much on the momentum rather than controlled movement to get the bag around. So I would rather pause for a few seconds, slow down my breathing, slow down my heart rate a little bit, regain some strength, focus, and um, finish these last 10 reps with purpose and with integrity and with control over the movement. Okay, 10 more reps. <clears throat> Goal. Don't get me wrong, which I'm not. I'm already over 30 minutes, but um, not at the expense of my form. I don't want to just race through uh, to finish in under 30 minutes if I'm not doing the exercises correctly and controlling the movement and making sure that each rep has integrity because otherwise I'm just kind of wasting 30 minutes if I'm not focusing on my form and getting the maximum benefits out of each exercise. Plus, you know, if I'm not paying attention to my form, I run the risk of injury and I don't want that. So, form above all else. Uh, I am at 32 minutes and eight seconds. So, my time goal is <laughs> gone. We missed it, but it's okay. We just have 10 reps left. Let's do them with integrity and our bonus burpee, and then we're done. And we had a great workout today, so it's all good. Squat, walk it out, push up, walk it back in, squat, and jump, that's one. That's two. Seven, three more comments, push. That's eight, just two more. One rep left. Let's do our bonus burpee together right away. And then the workout will be officially complete. All right, so that's the workout. Before I wrap it up today, let me just give you the code phrase for the day. Um, what's the code phrase for the day? Well, I have been doing these at home hit style workouts for over eight years now. I wanna say I started in like 2014 or 2015 maybe. And I used to 
cut the videos. I used to edit them down to about five or six minutes um, so that you can watch the video, see what the exercises look like, write down the description that's always in the description box that explains everything step by step, what to do, and then go and do the workout on your own. Well, probably the most frequent comment that I get is uh, requests to show the whole workout. So, okay, by popular demand, I now show you my whole workout, every single rep. So you can do it right along with me if you want to. The thing is, <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that nobody actually watches the whole workout. I know there are people that do them, but I think that they watch the first round or so and then they go, okay, I got it, and then they do it on their own. So, for the last week or so, I have been conducting an experiment. I have been giving you a code phrase um, to see who's actually still watching. So, today's code phrase is, you son of a bitch, I'm in. You son of a bitch, I'm in. So if you are still watching, will you please go down to the comment section and type in, you son of a bitch, I'm in. So far, no one has commented on a video with the code phrase of the day, but I will be ecstatic the day somebody finally does. So be that someone, you son of a bitch, I'm in. All right, um, so that's it for today. <laughs> I thought this was a great workout. I think I made the right choice by reducing my reps today. Um, maybe on another day when I'm in better shape, when I'm feeling stronger, I will do 20 reps of that final exercise per round. Um, like I said, I think it's totally doable. I just think it would have taken me a lot longer than 30 minutes. Oh, my official score for today, 34 minutes and 13 seconds. So missed my goal by a significant amount, but I got it done. So I'm very happy about that. If you did this workout with me today, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. That's it for today and I will see you all next time. Bye.